Hello everyone, once again we are back for another episode. Glad you could join us. And to start out, we're going to sing a song we just composed. It's entitled... The Lord is my shepherd. Hope you guys enjoy. It comes from uh, the book of Psalms from King David. Here he goes.
<laughs> I hope you guys love the song. So that was a song from um, the Book of Psalms, which was originally written by, of course, no other than King David. So I don't claim the words. Words that are any David. It's from yet. Psalm 23. Uh, 1 verse uh, 1 to 6. Anyways, once again, allow us to introduce ourselves. I'm Tyrone, and this is my daughter, Edge. And what? I, <laughs> <laughs> my daughter, Elle, and my wife, Edge, and of course, my, my Vincent uh, nephew over and there. And dearest nephew yeah, and, yes, uh, yes. and everything else. Because so, I'm also composer, and he did the, the music. Yeah. Anyways, thank you, Huya. Salamat. So, you know, it's a very popular scripture written by King David from Psalm 23, 1 to 6. And it's a wonderful expression of his intimate relationship with God. Something that we all aspire for. Di ba gusto natin lahat maging close kay God talaga? Mm. Anyways, the title of this lesson is, The Lord is my shepherd. Woo! Even when bad things happen. Yon, may subtitle siya. Mm. Kasi when we ask, you know, uh, what brings a man to be able to say, I surrender to God, to God's authority, and there is nothing else I will ever need. Right? Yeah, yes. Because we wonder. Mm, we wonder, can I really come to a point where I can declare the same exact words to God today and mean it, especially in these very trying times? Mm -hmm. In this passage, David mentioned so many encouraging promises of God that we can count on if we have a true relationship with Him. That's right. Yeah, but when bad things are happening in our lives, our faith is tested that holding on to this scripture becomes a real challenge. That is so mm -hmm. true for me. Especially the part that says, Though I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil, which is easier read than done. Oh, I did not said than done. Read, mm, read than, than done. <laughs> there has to be a deeper understanding of this whole scripture uh, for it to have power over our lives. There needs to be a better understanding of where God is, where we put Him, and who He is in our lives when bad things happen. And we should ask, is He truly our shepherd? Mm. So today we live in a world of uncertainty. This situation we are all in now is something none of us have ever experienced before. Something incredibly tough on top of the other hard situations that we already have in our lives. Marami na tayong problema at mga dinadala sa buhay. Tapos nagkaroon pa ng ganitong klaseng sitwasyon na hindi natin na-experience ever. Mm -hmm. You know, it brings us to many questions like, Will I survive this? Will I get sick? Will I have enough money? Will I lose my job, my business? Uh, my business ba? <laughs> my sanity? You know, these are very real questions. Others begin to even question God's presence in their lives. Mm -hmm. pa ba? So in Psalm 46, 1, El, you want to read this? Um, it says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Yeah, ever present. You know, when you read the Bible, there are a lot of things that God said. It's not just that it's an accident. It's not just that for a reason. We say, ever present, lagi na dyan. And you can hold on to that. You know, you see, when bad things happen, there is this tendency to think that God has somehow left or has turned a blind eye to our sorrows. But Scripture clearly tells the opposite. Mm -hmm. In fact, it is in our darkest moments that His presence is ever more felt and seen. Not that He reveals Himself more or performs extra miracles for us, but because He opens our eyes to what has already been there, which is Him. Andiyan talaga siya at hindi siya umaalis. Tama? Tama! Kwento mo yung mayayari sa inong ano, doon sa supermarket. Ano itong... Ang bata ko. Yes. Ah. Marami yan eh. Pero may isa. Yung... Actually, may ilang beses din ang ginawa sa akin. Shout out to my parents. Mama, papa, love you. Before, yung bata ko eh... May hindi ka akong pagtripan ng mga taong mas nakakatanda sa akin. Lalo na to. Gumugulat ako na to. Kaya ako may trauma ngayon. Sa Stick to the point. Anyways, <laughs> kaya sa mall, eh, since makulit ako ang bata, eh, napag-isipan, out of nowhere, ang aking, ng aking airpad at airmat na magtago. Habang nasa shoe center kami ng SM. Yeah. Yung, yung ano, yung... Yun, yung shoe, shoe department. Sa, shoe department. Tanong <laughs> 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 naman tayo. Yan. Yeah. Uh. Tapos, eh, 
Ako kasi napaka... Ni, kapag nakalabas ako, masaya-masaya ako kasi ayaw ko sa bahay. So, nung nakalabas ako, nung kasama ko sila, ando na sa mall, sa shoe department, biglang naisipan nila papa na, na Mel, iwan natin na si Vince. Tanong rin natin yung reaction niya kapag nawala tayo. So, nagtago sila. Tapos nung ando na ako, nakatayo, sayo sa aming tao-tao. Santo na ko. Tapos pagtingin ko, asan na mami ko? Asan na si mama? Asan na si papa? <laughs> Anong naramdaman mo nun? Gumuho na, mundo ko. That moment na na-realize mo wala pala yung magulang mo sa tabo. Kasi iyak ako nangiyak. Tapos nung, nung, nung umiiyak na ako, or di ko alam nung umiiyak ako, paiyak na ako, bigla lumabak, bigla sumulpot out of nowhere. Bees! Bees! Plastic, di ba? Ganon. Ganon sila magmakan. Yan. And the reason why we asked Vince to share this story to all of you guys is, you know, very much like us when bad things happen. The immediate feeling is panic, mm-hmm. tapos uh, the sense of doom, na mm-hmm. parang wala nang bukas, mm-hmm. di ba? Pero, uh, you realize, God, like like Vince's parents, God really never left. You know, He simply is teaching us and allowing us to grow. Parang yung parents, tingnan nga natin kung paano ito magsusurvive or how he's going to cope up, cope with this situation. Okay. Baga pa ako din ha, baka naisipin yeah. ako, yan, yan, nako. <laughs> Oh, 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 alam na namin. Pero like uh, myself and my wife, you know, becoming parents, I ag- we agreed that we will never allow and take chances when it comes to our daughter. As much as possible, we never allow her to be out of our sight. Um, <laughs> not a single <laughs> moment, di ba? Mm, yes. As humanly possible. As humanly possible. Pero si God, of course, because he's a, an eternal being, he does so much more than that. Uh, God isn't human. He's omnipresent. He's omniscient, present everywhere. He knows everything. And uh, His love is incomparable, as Paul shares to us in this scripture. Yes, it says in Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39, For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, or anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Mm-hmm. The scripture shows the intensity of God's love for us. These are God's promises and when God says something, you can definitely hold on to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But still we ask, if God is everywhere and knows everything, why do bad things happen? Does God really love us? Uh, like in this story, God and His fatherly nature have reasons why He allows it. Not that He loves us less, but He knows that what it will take for us to get where we need to be as a person. Uh, with this in mind, what should be our spiritual composure when bad things happen? What mature spiritual perspectives should we have when trials come our way? There you go. So these are the things we'd like to share to you in this episode. Three spiritual perspectives when bad things happen. Perspective number one, it is to change your character. You mm. know, remember the story of Jonah. We all know the story. God wanted Jonah to preach to the people of Nineveh. Nineveh. <laughs> whom have repented and whom God had has forgiven. But Jonah, Jonah's heart was hard. You know, self-righteous and full of hate for the people. Then he completely disobeyed God's commands. Fast forward, God orchestrated bad things to happen to Jonah to change his heart. He was thrown out of the boat kasi parang malas siya into the open sea, then was swallowed by a whale. In Jonah 1.17, come on, I'll read this for me. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. There you go. You know, take note of that word, prepared. Hinanda ni God, talagang plinano niya. Diba? Imagine being uh, thrown out of a boat into the open waters and then being swallowed by a whale and then being in there for three days and three, three nights. nights. Oh, that's scary. Adventure. Na hindi mo lang mabubuhay ka pa or talagang kung tutuloy-tuloy ka na dun sa sa uh, tiyan ng whale at you'll Digest end up ka na. you know how you'll end up yeah. after that. <laughs> so, you know, but but the, <laughs> But these events, horrible as it is, are events that God planned and designed to change Jonah's selfish and self-righteous character to one of love and selflessness. 
Diba? So, we have to think about it. Ano yung mga sitwasyon sa buhay natin ngayon na baka binabago lang kasi nigad yung character natin. It would be good to be able to identify that. So, we can, you know, embrace even the bad things in our lives. Remember that the ultimate goal for us Christians is to become more like Jesus. God will use bad situations in our lives to transform our character into Christ likeness. Right guys? Yes. Right. Okay, next point, my dear. Okay, next point, perspective number 2 is to fulfill your purpose and destiny. In Romans 8 verse 28 it says, "And we know that God causes all things, both the good and the bad, to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose." Ayan na naman. All things, both good and the bad, mm-hmm. according to His purpose. So, dinidesign talaga ni God yun, kahit yung mga bad things. He allows it for that purpose. I love the story of Joseph. Mm-hmm. Imagine, tinapong ka sa pit, tapos binenta ka, and then you became a slave, and then you were accused for rape, yeah. and then you were imprisoned, and then all of that, isipin mo, grabe, langit at lupa, parang pinagsakluhan ka. Pero, we all know what happens, uh, Later on, you know, when that was happening, we could see that, you know, God was orchestrating to get to that specific time and place and moment na importante siya. Mm-hmm. You know, in Joseph's own words. In Genesis 50 <clears throat> verse 19, it says, But Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? Mm-hmm. Even though you intended to do harm to me, God intended it for good in order to preserve a numerous people. As he is doing today. Yeah, there you go. So he was able to forgive his uh, brothers, brothers easily knowing all the bad events was allowed by God. Because he was to play a very important role in saving so many people's lives. Wow. Right? So amazing talaga yon. Talagang, if we think that God is not in control of, you know, during bad times in our mm-hmm. lives, uh, we are totally wrong. Kasi si God talaga, he's always good. Yung plans niya lagi, laging for the better. So, ang, ang sarap ng feeling na yun, di ba? Na as Christians, we have a relationship with this God who who orchestrates even the bad things for our own sake. Amen? Amen. Alright, last point. Okay, our third and the last perspective is to have a deep relationship with God. Remember the scripture in Acts 17 verse 28. It says, from one man he made every nation of men to inhabit the whole earth, and he determined their appointed times and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. Favorite koto. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Because when you read this, you see now how amazing is that? See, God designed took every single detail. Plinano talaga niya for one specific purpose. Diba? Pinangalakanan sa lugar na to, sa time na to, for one specific purpose, which is to have a relationship with Him, that we should seek and find Him. That, to me, that's really amazing. So, pero isipin mo, kung yun yung plano niya, tapos hindi mo plano yun, how bad is that? If, if, if that is God's ultimate plan, is for you to find Him. And that's not your plan. So every time magpapakita si God sa buhay mo, hindi mo siya mapapansin. mapapansin. Mm-hmm. ba? Pag bad things happen to you, you, you just think it's just a bad thing. But you mm-hmm. won't even think na baka nga there's something good in this. Yeah. Maybe it's you God's know? way of reaching out to you. Right. It is. So think about it. If God allowed His own son to die on the cross, to die a violent death, which is an event so horrible, will He think twice to use situations we don't like? To make sure that we end up saved. Diba? Uh, in John 6, 27, Jesus, in Jesus' words, Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it was for this very reason I came to this wow. hour. You know, the scripture shows us an ultimate example of appreciating a bad event when seen in God's perspective, shared in Jesus' very words. Jesus, in his human form, was very much troubled at very this very moment. Instead of saying, God, take this bad thing away from me. You know, he simply reminded himself that this horrible thing that, was about, that he was about to go through 
was the very purpose of why he became human in the first place. Mm-hmm. So again, when bad things happen, baka talaga tinatawag lang tayo ni God. Mayroong reason for all of that. In conclusion, let's go back to Psalm 23, 1-6, which is the inspiration for the song we sang in the beginning of this video. And let's find encouragement in God's promises that can help and see us through during tough times in our lives. Okay, so in Psalm 23, 1-6, sabi dyan, The Lord is my shepherd. What is that? There's a relationship. And sabi dyan, I shall not want. In that relationship, you will be fulfilled. You will be content. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. You will have rest. Sa mundo, kahit ka nang kaya, pero parang hindi ka na fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Pero in Christ, there is this rest that you feel. He leadeth me beside still waters. There's peace and refreshment. Tuwing gigising ka, you'll say, Refreshing! Refreshing! <laughs> <laughs> he restoreth my soul. There's healing. Diba? If you're, you're hurting right now, you're in pain, there's healing in the Lord. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness. There's guidance. Hindi ka nangungula. Alam mo yung pupuntahan mo. That's an amazing feeling. Knowing where you're going. Sabi dyan, for His name's sake, there's purpose. Wow, that's amazing. Mga tao, pagkatapos ma-reach yung mga greatest uh, dreams nila in their life, they still feel empty. Yeah. Because there's no purpose. Ito kasing purpose ito is higher than any purpose. Ito yung purpose na pag ito ang purpose mo, which is to glorify God. Wala na. Hindi mo na kailangan na maging the best of whatever. Kailangan mo lang maging the best in uh, loving God. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Ibig sabihin dyan, may trials talaga. God assures us that we will go through trials. Pero remember, the whole thing that we're sharing to you, pag may trials, there's a purpose for it. Mm. Right? So sabi ito, I will fear no evil. You have the, the promise of protection. For thou art <laughs> for oh. thou art with me. Trinamis niya that he's going to be with us. Faithful siya sa atin. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. May discipline. Alam mo, pag parents, mahal ka, i-discipline ka niya. Pag hindi ka na dinidisciplina, hindi ka na mahal niya. <laughs> Pero, so, pag-disciplina. Ito, best example, si Tyrell. Yeah. 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 Hindi na nga dinidisciplina, napakabait. Oh, <laughs> the puri. <laughs> so, ito, yun next. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Hindi natin maintindihan niya. Ibig sabihin, you're special and favored and people will see it in front of your uh, enemies, whatever is attacking you, di ba? Uh, makikita nila na you are special and favored by the Lord. You anoint my head with oil. You're chosen. My cup overflows. There's abundance in your life. Hindi ka lang fulfilled at content. There's more. But there's more. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. May blessing. You know, my prayers for Tyrell and Vince is always that they would have a blessed life uh, in the Lord. Kasi yun yun eh, when you're close, uh, close yung relationship, my God, it's really a blessing. It's really that. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. That's security. Imagine living in the, the house of the creator of, of everything. Total security. At, sabi dyan, forever. Eternity. O, oh, may forever. 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 So, amazing yun. So, as we end, contemplate on these compelling questions. What trials or seemingly bad things in your life God is using to bring? Number one, bring your character into Christ-likeness. Mm-hmm. Number two, bring you to where you should be, your destiny and purpose. Mm-hmm. And number three, bring you to an intimate relationship with Him. You know, ako dami kong kwento sa buhay, dami. The death of my dad when I was 14, uh, the change of uh, status, uh, lifestyle, losing uh, our livelihood, and ang dami. Pero when I sum it all up, it brings me here. I have a relationship with God. I have a loving family. Um, I serve in the church. I'm a disciple. And all of those bad events in my life brought me 
to where I am today, where I can even speak and share the greatness of God to people. So when bad things happen, don't mistake it as a weakness in God's character. Have the proper spiritual perspective and see His great love, wisdom, and sovereignty in both the good and the bad situations in our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a saying that if, if you, you can't can trust the situation, situation trust in God's, God's character. So, be intimate with God, know His character, so that even when bad things happen in your life, we can hold on to His promises and be able to say and even sing along joyfully that the, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. All right, so that's it for this episode. Hope you guys uh, learned something. Thank you for joining us. See you again in our next again. episode. Thanks, everyone. All the glory and honor is His. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Make me to lie down in green pastures. Lead me beside still waters. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want Make me to lie down in the Lead me besides the Lord, my soul. Bye. God loves you. We love you.